there are houses, and then there are boats, and then there are houseboats. The first houseboats that we know of were built all the way back in the year 3000 BC, and they've certainly come a long way since then, with modern houseboats earning design awards and letting their owners live out lavish lifestyles all while floating around carelessly in the water. Let's begin today's video. Here are the top 15 most luxurious houseboats. Number 15. The Fennell Residence Portland, Oregon in the United States is known for one thing, being weird. And so it should make a little bit of sense that it's also home to one of the most amazing houseboats in the country. The Fennell Residence is designed by acclaimed and famed architect Robert Harvey Oshatz, and will have you doing a double take when you first see it from the water. This gorgeous houseboat sits right on the scenic Williamette River in Portland and blends into the scenery seamlessly. This home on the water is cleverly made with glue lamb timber beams to make the interior incredibly warm and cozy and inviting. Head on inside to the living and dining rooms and you're greeted with sweeping views of the river thanks to the massive glass windows. It's the type of place where you can wake up to the sunrise with a cup of coffee and drift into the night as you watch the sunset with a nightcap. But the best part of the Fennell residence is the lofted master bedroom, which sits right above the houseboat's study and offers the same breathtaking views of the Williamette River. It's also been designed perfectly when it comes to spatial differentiation and has a stunning curvilinear form, which makes it not just the coolest house on the block, but the coolest house on the dock. Number 14. The Float Wing you know a houseboat's going to be amazing when it's been designed by academic designers. The float wing sits on the calm waters in Coimbra, Portugal, and it's made by a group from the local university made of naval architects, engineers, and industrial designers. This team specializes in very specific niche market of personal submarines and prefabricated floating homes and constructs, all of which are made to order and vary anywhere from 33 to 59 feet long. So the float wing may not be a floating mansion, but it sure knows how to make the best possible use of the space. Certain float wing packages come with some awesome bells and whistles, like a solar-powered motor, which powers it up for a week while making a lower environmental impact, which is always nice. One thing most people don't think about when houseboat shopping is where all of that waste is going to go, specifically from the bathroom. It could be a real mess and sometimes get a little gross, but not on the float wing. This piece of aquatic luxury includes its very own biological wastewater treatment plant, so you won't have to feel bad about doing your business out on the water. It's gross, but it's important. Number 13. The Queen of Lake Union Seattle, Washington, USA is home to one of the most extravagant houseboats in the world, the Queen of Lake Union. This home is worth about $4.4 million, and it's pretty big for both land and sea, offering just under 5,000 square feet of space. You're looking at three bedrooms and four bathrooms, a multi-story staircase, an amazing kitchen stocked to the brim with professional appliances, a formal dining room and elevated breakfast nook, and of course, the sunroom with floor-to-ceiling windows for the best views of the water in town. And step outside onto the gorgeous deck to catch the sunset every single night of your life. But if the views get a little boring to the rich residents of the Queen of the Lake Union, the home is also built with a full-on home theater. But how do you get a house of this size to float? Well, she's been designed and built by the local shipwrights, who implemented truly the finest craftsmanship with a foundation of ocean-caliber marine aluminum. And who knows, maybe you can fry up your own catch of the day on the flat-top stove inside on a hot summer day. Number 12. Savvy the Savvy Houseboat is one of the most beautiful houses and beautiful boats sailing in the United Kingdom today. Built by the Dutch shipyard Hakburi, Savvy was delivered in 2004 and immediately went on to win multiple awards at the International Superyacht Society Awards in Monaco. And if you're good enough for Monaco, then you're good enough for pretty much anywhere. Savvy has an intricately detailed interior from none other than H2 Design and offers her lucky residents a full width master suite with an ensuite bathroom and another two ensuite twin cabins for when you want to show off a bit to your friends. But when the guests are gone, those extra two guest cabins easily convert into an office area. Because when you live on a boat, why would you ever go into the office again? And if you're not into doing things yourself or just need a little extra help taking the Savvy from port to port, there's enough space to accommodate four crew members in two cabins with their own separate entrance, galley, dinette, and bathroom. And when you just want to kick back and chill on the gentle rocking of the water, there's a spacious lounge area complete with a jacuzzi and the killer entertainment center with a flat-screen TV. 
The Savvy is almost 100 feet long with a 16 and a half foot beam and runs on a diesel electric 110 kilowatt engine that lets her reach a top speed of eight knots and has got a range of 955 miles. Number 11, Villa Nacros. Sweden is home to no shortage of picturesque river towns, but this one really takes the cake. The town of Kalmar sits right on Sweden's east coast and it's home to the stunning Villa Nacros. The Villa Nacros is a contemporary houseboat with obviously incredible waterfront views, but those aren't the only sweeping things you'll find here. The floor plan is incredibly spacious, offering 1,900 square feet of living space. But you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck here because this Swedish houseboat is built with six bedrooms, an insane 320 square foot top deck, and a 1,000 square foot rooftop garden. This place oozes luxury and decadence, and for a country that's full of quaint homes on the water, this one in particular manages to stand out amongst the crowd. The Villa Nacro sits right on the dock, but it does also have its own aluminum mooring bar that can fit in a small boat, meaning your neighbors can row right on top of the front door to ask for a cup of sugar. The Villa Nacros is one of the first fully regulated floating houses in the entire country and was nominated for the Swedish Building Industry's Building of the Year in 2003. Number 10. Penelope One of the nicest, most luxurious, and downright cozy houseboats in the Seven Seas today is simply known as Penelope. Penelope is moored down in the riverside quarter of southwest London, and at first look, you'll think she's been there untouched for years. But all of that changes when you step inside of her hull. The former Dutch barge is home to some pretty spectacular living spaces, and it's one of the best views of the River Thames that money can buy. After spending her life as a commercial boat, Penelope was redesigned in 2008 by a naval architect and is complete with an airy open play layout with plenty of personal touches. Penelope is 95 feet long and is kitted out with subtly curved ceilings, sleek wooden flooring, and clean whitewashed walls, which are adorned with plenty of colorful artworks like traditional tapestries and houseplants offer the final touch with pops of green in just about every space. But the greatness doesn't stop here, because Penelope also has a gorgeous lounge, high-end and high-tech kitchen, three bedrooms and two bathrooms. But the master suite is where she really shines, with a four-post bed fit for aquatic royalty. And of course, there are multiple outdoor decks for when you want to enjoy the sea breeze over the summer. Number 9. Eggsbury Egg Living on beachfront property or even in a home dangling over a cliff is one thing, but actually living on the water is a totally different beast. Located in the United Kingdom, the Exbury Egg is an awesome little abode that sits right on top of the water. This small floating residence was actually built by a boat builder who took their inspiration from, you guessed it, a bird's egg. Specifically the seabirds who rest and roost on the banks of the Beaulieu River. It may be small and better suited for one person, but the Exbury Egg has a living space and even a small kitchen and stove to provide the basic creature comforts. There's even a hammock to help enjoy the outdoor scenery and the skylight, which provides some pretty spectacular views of the stars every night. But the location of the Exbury Egg holds some significance as well. It was built in New Forest, a fully open forest in southern England with a history that reaches all the way back to the 11th century. Outside of looking quite awesome, the purpose of the Exbury Egg was to be sustainable and have as minimal an impact as possible on the environment. Number 8. Port X With a name like Port X, you know you're in for a real treat. The houseboat, simply known as Port X, is moored on the dock in Prague in the Czech Republic, and it comes with one of the most unique designs. This houseboat is made with a C-shape to help create the floor, roof, and rear wall of the structure, and a glass facade that encloses the building with a completely unobstructed view of the River Voltava. So when your average home has to worry about all the nosy neighbors peering into their home, the owners of the Port X will never run into that problem, because the only thing staring back at them is the water of the river and the sunrise. It's an incredibly sleek and modern design that makes for a great contrast to its natural surroundings and all of the Romanesque architecture of the city. It's truly a standout home, and the only way to really see what's going on in here is to be invited. Plus, Port X's prefabricated design makes it easy to assemble, take down, and relocate for when you're ready to move on to the next riverside. It's lightweight and easy to tow, so if you see a better spot at a better dock just down the way, Port X can make the trip in moments. Number 7. Park Ark When it comes to houseboats, Europe really knows what they're doing. 
So many European countries have learned to live amongst and appreciate nature while maintaining a laid-back lifestyle, and the Netherlands seems to be at the top of that list. Park Ark is an amazing houseboat in Utrecht in the Netherlands, created by the Rotterdam-based BYTR Architects, and while many other houseboats out there seem to be just for the rich and famous and occasionally eccentric, the Park Ark stands above the crowd because it's also made to function more as a family residence. The goal of BYTR Architects is that just about anyone can have the opportunity to live in something as cool as this. The owners of Park Ark originally lived on a steel ship and specifically requested the Rotterdam firm to build Park Ark and recreate the feel of that last home while also incorporating an updated modern aesthetic. The copper sheets of the home that make up the lower exterior come inches away from touching the water, which allows the design to not only parallel the canal below, but also make it feel as if it's a natural part of the landscape. And when you make your way up top, there's a skylight that floods the interior with natural lighting, and the roof itself is green to meld the park arc into the surrounding shrubbery. Number 6. Water Villa de Omval Another houseboat that looks like it's been plucked from the future and sent back to our time is the Water Villa de Amval. The name says it all. The Water Villa de Amval is designed and built by the Dutch architectural firm Plus 31 Architects, who said they wanted to create a houseboat that feels modern without losing an ounce of charm. And as you can see here, they succeeded and then some. This houseboat is sitting on the back of Amsterdam's Amstel River and is a serious head turner. This Dutch houseboat is mostly a modern white and with an exterior fully clad in aluminum that shines against the water. And while it is certainly a spectacle during the day, it's at night when this houseboat quite literally shines, with the lights from the interior peering through the windows to illuminate the dark waters that it sits on. And while the outside is certainly spectacular in its own right, the interiors are made with wood grain and white plaster to give the home a cozy yet near futuristic feel. This houseboat is made with a unique split-level design to provide wind protection out on the decks while offering maximum space as well as a cool curvaceous flavor to the floating abode. And speaking of decks, the roof of this houseboat has a built-in guardrail so you can stand out at night and enjoy the urban Amsterdam landscape as the river breeze whips across your face. Number 5. Eau d'Esquisito don't think you can have a list of the most luxurious houseboats without heading over to Dubai. The Emirate is known for its extravagance and decadence, and its aquatic homes are no exception to that rule. The Eau d'Esquisito fits right in. Designed by ex-architects in collaboration with world-famous interior architect Lean Van Dale, the Eau d'Esquisito is a unique beast, having been built upon two modified catamaran beams, making it large enough to have a spiral staircase connecting the two levels. On the top floor, you'll find the concealed kitchenette, living room, and dining area, with the bedrooms, bathrooms, and steering cabin down on the main level. The houseboat is about 65 feet by 22 feet, which is more than enough space to have all your rich and lavish friends over for a night out on the water. The interiors are really something to write home about, though, with a calming blend of soft white tones furnished with contemporary furniture, and even the bathrooms go for a chic look to round everything out. Because if you're going to be living on a houseboat in Dubai, then you better do it in style. It really is a gorgeous structure. While it may not be winning any boat races, it's the envy of every sailor out on the water. Number 4. Tramfanga The European countries have proven time and time again that they know where it's at when it comes to houseboats. Places like Portugal, England, and Sweden all have plenty of stuff to show off. But the Tromfanga of Germany deserves the spotlight as well. Although it doesn't actually set sail, the Tromfanga is an amazing aquatic abode that spends its days floating out on the Irbeck Canal in Hamburg, Germany. With a gorgeous design from the minds of Ross Niederer architectural firm, the Tromfanga has modern touches from head to toe. The first thing anyone with eyes will notice is the timber siding that lets it blend right into the woodlands behind it but make your way around the perimeter and you'll find the private deck with literally the best view of the canal in town. The Tromfanga was built in 2011 and quickly garnered multiple awards for both design and construction, and earned plenty of recognition for its sleek design and exterior finish. And unlike some of its cousins on this list, the Tromfanger houseboat requires a tugboat to get around. Number 3. Bosco there are plenty of houseboats docked in the River Thames, and we've already seen one today, but the Bosco really blows the competition out of the water. With a price tag of $2.15 million, Bosco began its life as a Dutch cargo barge in the 1950s before turning into the beauty that she is today. 
but it wasn't as easy as you might expect. She was covered in coal, grain, and plenty of barnacles from her previous life before the founding directors of Lab Architects got their hands on her. It was an incredibly tough job, and she needed to be entirely re-engined on top of the deep clean she got in 2016. The newly christened Bosco went from traversing the seas of Europe to living the quiet life, and was given a new steel and glass top section, and a fully reconfigured and remodeled modern interior fit for everyday living. Bosco was split into two levels across 2,100 square feet of interior space, with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two living areas, a contemporary open kitchen, a full dining room, a study, and a utility room. But if all of these amazing touches aren't enough, there's a full theater hidden in the bow and a verdant garden complete with built-in heaters to help the plants thrive during those harsh, cold English winters on the River Thames. Number 2. The Lake Doll Houseboats Once referred to as Paradise on Earth, Lake Doll is now a piece of history in Srinagar, and it's been home to some of the cooler houseboats the world will ever know. The origins of the floating city's houseboat reach back to the days of the British Raj, as the ruling Brits would spend their summer months out on the water to stay cool and avoid the dust of the Indian plains. And while they may have started small, the houseboats grew larger and more extravagant over time, all of which employed the gorgeous Indian and Kashmiri architecture that you won't find anywhere else. The houseboat business boomed throughout the region, and after India gained its independence from the harsh British rule in 1947, the houseboats became a massive tourist draw in the 1960s. The boats come in all shapes and sizes, but the premium choices can come complete with four separate bedrooms, each with their own attached rooms, full pantry, multiple dining rooms, and of course, a balcony overlooking Lake Dahl. But luxury doesn't stop on the ground floor, as many of these lake abodes have two stories. You'll find all of these houseboats adorned with the finest local craftsmanship like carved wooden ceilings, furniture, and accessories, and authentic silk carpets that are so gorgeous you'll be too afraid to even touch them. But the biggest standout feature of these houseboats is also the smallest detail. You won't find any nails in the walls or floors here, because absolutely everything from the wall panels to the exterior guardrails to the intricate geometric patterns in the ceilings is all expertly handcrafted and assembled. Number 1. Floating Seahorse Leave it to Dubai to come up with one of the most insane and extravagant houseboats in history. The floating seahorse isn't beachfront property, but it quite literally is right on the water. This floating home is built in the World Islands, the man-made islands meant to mimic a map of the world. Designed by the Clydenst Group, these homes on the water took more than 5,000 hours of research and another 13,000 hours of design and engineering to get it just right. Because what good is a house on the water if it sinks? The plans for these floating seahorses were announced in 2016, and the hype was very real, with 60 units having been sold before they were even complete. And how much is each one of these seahorse seahouses going for? You're looking at about 12 million bucks. But these homes are like icebergs because so many of them are actually underwater, which is where you'll also find the master bedroom and bathroom across 270 square feet. And to make things a little more interesting, the sub-level features floor-to-ceiling windows where you'll be able to look out at your own personal 500-square-foot coral garden. Pretty nice. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.